collected from the congestion pricing plan will only be used for MTA transit expansion projects and state of good repair projects. So that will ensure that, that one, those monies that are collected are only going to go toward that end. But you, thank you, you can, Council you, Member. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, All right. I just, just one quick question. How come black cars and taxis, which have higher income, um, uh, persons with higher incomes are excluded from this congestion pricing? I don't understand that. I have a major problem. If you're dealing with looking at people with higher incomes as a, as a reason to do the congestion pricing, why are black cars excluded when those people clearly have a higher income level and would be more willing to support? Well, they're not excluded. There is a $1 surcharge for taxi and uh, livery trips that uh, enter or end in the congestion zone. And, and to just add to that, if you think about it, it's only a dollar per trip, but the average taxi makes something on the order of 20 trips per day. So a yellow cap will be contributing several times the amount of money that any other vehicle on the city streets will be contributing to congestion prices. What about black cars? Black cars make fewer trips per day, but nonetheless, they will still probably be contributing more money than the $8. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, my time is up, so I want to do this a little bit now, but I still have some problem with the timing.